guys, it's Blur here, and, um, I have a, uh, Photoshop tutorial, I almost said GIMP, um, and let's get started right away, so, um, open this template, I'll put the download link in the description, and, um, we're gonna add some text, so, just do whatever, got the text thing, and load. I'm gonna be using American Captain. I make it about 150 um, for the size. And type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna type in, yeah, Blur Effect HD. I'm gonna turn it down to 25. Okay. Now we are going to right click Blending Options. Gradient overlay, then gradient right here. You're gonna choose a dark color, so like dark red to a light red, like that. Press OK and OK. Now make sure you're on layer, on your layer. Press Command J, Control J if you're on a Windows, and um. Now you're going to add some effects to the bottom layer, so right click again, click on blending options, and then click on gradient overlay, gradient, and then choose this black to white, and then change that white to a black. Okay, okay, okay. Now press Control T, hold Shift and Alt, and drag in a tiny bit. So it looks like it's a bit 3D. Like that. And now go back on your bottom layer to the blending options. Oh wait, by the way, you need to press check. Um, blending options. And put a drop shadow. Opacity 100. And press OK. So it looks pretty neat and um, 3D. Now go to this top layer, right click, and actually, sorry, click both of the layers, hold command, and click the bottom one. Now go to your top layer, click rasterize type, and then merge layers. And then you're going to click on that, and then hold T, or command T. Change the angle to negative 90 <coughs> and drag it where you want it. So I want to put mine right about there. And we're going to add some effects to the background, make it look a little bit better. So to do that, I'm actually going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to flip it. Okay, now grab your brush tool and get, um, for me it's 290, and you're going to choose a the red again, like a medium red, or whatever color, and then make a new layer, drag it all the way below content area, and then make one right there. Right there, there, right there. And then the next one I like to do is 520, I think. If I can find that, find it. I can't find it. Um, I'm gonna go find it and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I found it. It's actually 5, um, 40. So, yeah. Now, 1 and 2. That should be perfect. And then do the same thing to the other side. 1 and... And it's not going to come out good. 1 and 2. That doesn't look good. No. We turned on the size. No. Actually, yeah. 500. Change it to about 450. Mm, it looks okay. No. Um, I'm gonna go find one and I'll be right back again. Sorry. Okay, so I found a really neat one and I love it. It looks, my background just looks amazing right now. Um, the last thing that you can do, it's optional. <clears throat> so my throat is always dry when I make videos for some reason. Um, so zoom in above this thing and let's add some more text. Make the text about 25, I think, is the right size. Make it white. I think you can go up to 50. Hold on. I'll find out real quick. Um, well, def it depends on each font. So. Hmm. 30. I think mine's gonna be like about 27. Yeah, mine's 27. Just about 27. Okay. Some background made by where effect HD. Okay, I'm not sure how to center it yet. On Photoshop, but I think it like auto centers it. Yeah, it, like sticks to the center. Um. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped a lot, and your I hope your background comes out as epic as mine did. See so, ya. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.